welcome, welcome, welcome. Fresh Air Chronicles 2, 1, 21. Look, bamboo. Isn't that beautiful? I walk past this bamboo every day. Every day that I walk at least. And it's so pretty. I want to be able to grow my own bamboo. I haven't done that yet. I want to grow a lot actually. So let's let's go with the weather update. It is currently 36. 36 degrees and or is it 35 look that one degree makes a difference um and google says the real feel is 25 or 26 look it's cold af it's cold out here and then look at me i got my hat on look i got a lot of scarves but this is my thickest scarf and um yeah i'm gonna wear this every day that it's like feels like 25 degrees outside i got my windbreaker on they said the wind chill causes it to feel colder so and it is windy just a little bit okay. we get money all day um and now that um I'm probably about 10, 12 minutes away from finishing. I, uh, it starts to sprinkle, but I can handle the sprinkle. I can handle the sprinkle. And um, cloudy, cloudy, no sun. Last week, like Thursday and Friday, when it was actually like about the same temperature, we had sun, so I could, I could take it a little bit more, but my finger's cold. Fingers is cold. I mean, I gotta walk around with my ball and my hand in a fist just so I can keep my fingers warm. But I'm holding the phone now, so my fingers are starting to get cold. But I mean, it's a beautiful day regardless. Like, I look forward to these walks every day because um, it's the fresh air for me. I just like the fresh air. I like being able to, this is my, this is my break. This is my break from doing work. It's my break from like everything in life. And I get to, this is how I get to think more clearly and come up with my plans. So yeah, speaking of plans, I listen to this podcast every day because I tell you I listen to podcasts. And one of the podcasts that I listen to is um, Dave Ramsey's Everyday Millionaire podcast and you know, I was thinking, health and money, they go hand in hand. So, what is your relationship with money? Do you have a poor relationship with money that results in poor money decisions? Or do you have a healthy relationship? Look at the birds. Can you see the birds? There they are. Birds making all that noise. See, this is what I'm talking about. Nature. But yeah, so like if you if you have a great relationship with money, it influences positive money decisions and um Yeah. So money does relate to health in the sense that everything that I just said and if you're examples, if you are stressed over money, that does cause gaps in health and I'd be thinking about how you know me being like three decades old and everything like that I'm left I've reached level 30 in this life and I'm like I, I just have to reflect and see how many decisions I made and that were that were good and you know some of that were not so good but you know it still all worked out and when it came to making financial decisions I've made a few mistakes but in all I do think that I was able to you know overcome all of it right so anyways I don't want to keep making the same mistakes 
that not only I've made, um, but also my, my parents have made. And I look to see what they did and, you know, try to figure out how I can avoid those type of mistakes. So uh, what was that? It's, just, it's a phrase that I just heard on something else I was listening to. It was called a uh, projected outcome. It's like your projected outcome. Your projected outcome is the, is how you go based off of how you were raised, how your family, your mother and your father are with their health, with their money and with their emotions. And based on how they are, you are projected to be the same way. So projected wise, I'm, I'm supposed to, you know, be in a lot of, a lot of trouble with money. And I'm supposed to have a lot of health issues. And I'm supposed to, at this point, not know what I'm doing. And I think I've actually outperformed my projected um, path based on what I'm doing. So anyways, Dave Ramsey, Chris Hogan, we got two forums. We got Robert Kiyosaki, which is like considered the bad guy. And we got Dave Ramsey, which is considered the good guy. And you know, Dave Ramsey says, get out of debt, save, and you'll invest in retirement. And you'll become an everyday millionaire. Robert Kiyosaki says, get into that good debt and um, invest, invest, invest. And then that's when you become a millionaire. So I listened to both of them. And I, I think that, I think both of them have a point. And we should be able to burst it if we have debt, get out of debt. Because debt tends to stay with us and debt tends to pile up. And once we're out of debt, we don't have to worry of debt. We don't have the stress of debt. And then stop spending money frivol frivolously, you know what I mean? Be able to save, you should be able to save every single um, time we get money, more than just a paycheck, but every time we get money, we should be able to save a portion of that. Even if it's like five or 10% of what we get, because all of that adds up. So, we should have three to six months of income. So if your income, your, I mean your expenses, three to six months of expenses saved up in our account, your expenses of $2,000 a month, you want 6000 at least in your savings account, right? Because if anything happens, then you're protected. And I can definitely attest to that because um, I do have, you know, we, we do have, we do actually work on like saving and things like that. And when things happen, like the car needs to be fixed or repaired, because I'm really big, oh, I'm so big on making sure our cars are running. Okay, we don't want no jack leg mechanic on these cars. And like, anyway, so whenever these cars, you know, they need to be uh, uh, worked on, I definitely make sure that we get it done but see the only way that I can make sure that we get it done is if I already have an emergency fund and that's you know what we use for the emergency fund if anything else breaks down we need anything extra you know loss in job loss in life I don't know we need to make sure that we uh, have that covered and these are things that we tend not to think about when we're young and um, we wake up the next 10 years later and we realized that we haven't done very much with our lives. What happened? What happened? I know what happened. We was young and free. <laughs> but it's time to get intentional. A lot of people on my um, Facebook friends list, we are around about the same age. We level 30, give or take a few years. And it's time for us to get serious about what we're doing with our money because the retirement age is 65, but do you really want to retire when you're 65? I'm already tired of working. I'm 30. <laughs> I'm already tired of working. So um, I think that was a good time to start now and plan out how we want to live the rest of our lives.
like real plans. And the first step is to get out of debt. Next step is to, set, to establish three to six months of expenses in our savings account. And then the next step is to invest in retirement. And there's a lot of ways you can go about investing in retirement. If you have a job, you can use the jobs, 401k, or you can use a IRA, a Roth IRA. There's a bunch of different ways you can re invest in retirement, but we definitely want to get in it so that we'll be set for our financial future. Because I look at my grandparents and they're set. Like they have their pension and you know what they're talking about is that you know people our age by the time we hit retirement we're not going to have a pension but 401ks and things like that should be around right and um we, that's this is where we invest and our grandparents actually did it right they don't not only have in, our pensions and they also have insurance that pays them every month you know they they got it they got it all figured out and we spend a lot of time not thinking about these things because Hi, Shamisha. We spend a lot of time thinking about these things because, I mean, we we don't spend a lot of time thinking about them because there's so many other things to worry about. Life is really interesting. Like you can do whatever you want, wherever you want, because everything is digital now. So it's easy to not think about retirement. It's easy to not think about money. But look, we got to get better with our money for real. Whew. Wind. Well, this scarf is really helping me. So, yeah, this is just like health is wealth. Health is a new currency. So, yeah, first step is to be healthy. Second step, once you're healthy, you establish your finances. Have you ever thought about buying a house? Or do you have a house? Is it on a 30 year mortgage or a 15 year mortgage? You should probably put it on a 15 year mortgage. Who wants to pay something for 30 years? So these are things that we should probably think about. Health, finances, you know, social. Let's stop being around all these toxic individuals because some of these toxic individuals are our family and my um, emotional health is way more important than family, being around toxic people, right? Yeah, you know, I think this is just like my thing because, you know, I've been thinking about that a lot. It's some, it's crazy how just things just come to you when you, like, have a birthday and you, like, then you got to look over your life and see, you know, what you accomplish and what you can move forward and accomplish in, in the next decade, you know. <laughs> Three decades old out here. Big in these streets. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. But that's all I have today. Um, until they, oh you know what <laughs> y'all tried to get me y'all tried to get me did you have your water today did you did you drink your water when you woke up did you drink did you eat your live food okay I had a banana I had a banana today and Did you go for your walk today? Look, it's look. I'm seeing people outside, and I'm so proud of these people being outside, for being outside, because it is windy out here, and these people are really dressed like, <laughs> like it's not cold. <laughs> they are dressed like it's not cold. I can't believe it, but I'm pretty sure they're probably saying the same thing about me. Look at what I got on. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> but I'm moving and I'm grooving, and it's okay. I'm not cold because I got this big old scarf. Look, I feel like those people, look, I'm telling you, I only have like, there you go, banana and water. I, um, I, I was, uh, dang on it. I came out here with these little bitty little, uh, yoga pants on because I was trying to be cute. No, I won't try to be cute. My mate forgot to wash my clothes. <laughs> Let me stop. I just, my clothes is in the washer. And, um, so all I had was these little bitty leggings or whatever. And I was like, yo, I'm about to be cold out here. But as long as I have like four layers of clothes on, uh, shirts on, I'm going to be good. So that's what I did. And my legs is cold when I first started. But then I kept walking and I warmed up. Um, 
But then I thought about it. I see how those people that be wearing their sweatshirts and their shorts and their flip-flops feel. Just as long as your upper body is warm, then you know you warm. I feel warm. My upper body is warm. I got my big old scarf on, looking all red and hot. And then I got my hat on. And then I got all these like jackets and stuff on. So look, she out here running. I'm telling you, man, these people are dedicated. Are you dedicated? Are you dedicated? I need you to get dedicated here because health is wealth. Okay, so no, no, for real. Water, live foods, and um, walking. It's important, 10 to 15 minutes a day. Until next time, thank you for tuning in for Fresh Air Chronicles because it's a fact. I'll see you next time. Peace.